Google, they've just published a big nature paper about a new quantum chip they're calling Willow. It's at the heart of their new quantum computer, and in the paper, the Google team is claiming to have pulled ahead in the race to build machines that can beat even the world's best conventional su- supercomputers at certain tasks, quantum supremacy, though, mm. as it's known. So Willow is particularly good at uh, preserving its quantumness better than uh, previous chips. And to test this, Google uses a specific benchmarking task called RCS that involves verifying that a sample of numbers output by a program on the chip has a, a randomest distribution as possible. And Google says that Willow has done its RCS task in five minutes, while even the best supercomputer in the world would take 10 septillion years, <laughs> which doesn't sound like a real number, but is. Uh, and it's, uh, that's more than the age of the universe squared. Hart McNevin, he's the founder and lead of quant- of Google Quantum AI. In the press release about Willow, he said, This mind-boggling number exceeds known timescales in physics and vastly exceeds the age of the universe. Fine. It lends credence to the notion that quantum computation occurs in many parallel universes, in line with the idea that we live in a multiverse, a prediction first made by David Deutsch. Yeah, so my initial reaction to seeing this was probably not suitable for a family-friendly podcast. <laughs> uh, um, 